Republicans in Congress are eager to work with the Obama administration to fast track the passage of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. If you haven't heard much about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that's part of the problem right there. It would be the largest trade deal in history, involving countries stretching from Chile to Japan, representing 792 million people and accounting for 40% of the world economy. Yet it's been devised in secret. Lobbyists from America's biggest corporations and Wall Street's biggest banks have been involved, but not the American public. The pharmaceutical industry, for example, they get stronger patents, delaying cheaper generic versions of drugs. Big corporations and Wall Street get an international tribunal of private attorneys outside any nation's legal system that can order compensation for any lost profits found to result from a nation's regulations. That means even U.S.-based corporations could challenge any U.S. government regulation they claim unfairly diminishes their profits. Say, laws that protect American consumers from unsafe products or unhealthy foods, that protect workers, block toxic emissions, or prevent another taxpayer-funded bailout of Wall Street. The Obama administration says the trade deal will boost U.S. exports, but the deal will also allow American corporations to outsource even more jobs abroad. In other words, it's a Trojan horse in a global race to the bottom, giving big corporations from Wall Street banks a way to eliminate laws and regulations that get in the way of their profits. Right now, they're trying to get something called fast track authority. So this massive giveaway can pass without any public review or power to amend. So we have to say loud and clear, no to fast track and no to the Trans-Pacific Partnership.